Hi everyone, so now we will learn that how we can call API in React Native and maybe in your mind there is some questions like what is API, why we have to call API in React Native and all. We will talk about this also but before that see, this is not a last video on uh, API in React Native. We will learn more things like uh, API's method, how we can uh, just uh, plot a list with the API and uh, how we can re-render or create dynamic components with the APIs and all right. So there will be around 7 to 10 videos on this topic. Now let's uh, talk about what is API. See API is something that can fetch data from backend and uh, we can integrate this data or we can display this data on the UI. Why? Because see JavaScript or front-end applications like uh, Android applications, iOS applications or web application directly cannot connect with the uh, database right for that we have some server side scripting language like uh, php java python and all so that's why firstly we will create api in the server side scripting language and uh, after that we have to integrate this api in the front end technologies that could be angular react react native or it could be any mobile application uh, technology right and you don't need to worry about like how we can create APIs, do we need to learn about database and all. No, that is the part of backend team. Backend team will handle it at all, right? If you are a full stack developer, then you may, may need to create APIs and all. But if you are a front end developer, then you don't need to worry about that. You just have to uh, the API URL, API data and all. And then you can integrate it simply, all right? So now let's talk about the points of this video. So first of all, we will call a uh, we will create a function to call API. Then we will store this uh, API data uh, in a state. And after that, we'll display this data on the UI. And at last, we'll cover some important interview questions also. also. Next thing you can ask, like, we don't have any API. Then how we will uh, integrate these API? So this is the site. Uh, let me just show you. There you can get lots of uh, free APIs, right? Even, uh, uh, let me show you. Here you can see that this is an example how we can just call APIs in uh, JavaScript, right? After that, these are the types of API. Here you can see that this is the format of uh, API response that we will integrate. And uh, some other APIs also like APIs have some methods like get method, post method, put, patch, delete. And we will learn all of these methods with the in a separate, separate video, right? This is a simple. Uh, API call so I'm not talking about there I'm not going to talk about uh, uh, what is get and what did what is post and all that we will talk in the upcoming video just integrate this API for a moment right and what API we will integrate so here you can see that this is a small API right so we have that user ID ID title and body so we will display this data in our application and the similar kind of API will be developed by the backend team and they will give you the URL and other details and after that, you are able to uh, uh, just integrate this API in your JavaScript or in your any front-end technology, mobile technology and all, right? So now what we need to do, we can just uh, jump on the code. Here you can see that there is a just simple code. There is a, we already know what is that do. But uh, after that, now just that, we will start writing the code for API. So I'm creating a function. Let's say get API data. There is a one just small task for you. Just let me know what is uh, full form of API. And you can uh, just answer this in a comment section, right? After just we created that function, right? And let me just uh, print something there. Let's say hello. And now how we can call this function. And if you, especially if you want to just uh, call the API on the uh, page load, that time we can use use effect hook, right? So let me, what is use effect hook? I already created the video over there. Just use effect, you can import it. This is the hook as I already told you in the previous videos. Link is given in the description box for complete playlist. If you haven't just watched that video, right? So there I am putting a, a blank array so that it will just call only on first time. And there we can call this simple function, get data API. This one, this function, right? Don't forget to put the brackets at the last save it and here you can see that hello this is just coming from this console.one that means this is working perfectly fine great now we can call our api there so for that what you need for just get api you need only url nothing more than it and uh, let me just uh, take a variable 
let result and there we will use fetch this is the method or you can say that the yeah this is the method that will be a uh, more accurate word for the beginners right and if you are uh, the advanced level then you can understand that this is the api in the uh, javascript right fetch okay so now we can even you can just take a uh, another constant with the name of url and just save your api url there and now let's pass this api url like this perfect and now let's check what we are getting in this result one let's save it and here you can see that we got just some uh known readable or weird result. why because this is basically written a promise so to just handle this promise we have to create this function as a async and need to put await before that right so that data could be just synchronized and now again you will find some lots of data there right when you just check it out there there is a status and all there is a huge amount of data to just reduce reduce it what you need to do just create uh, one more line there result equal to result because I am just using this result variable again dot JSON I am just converting this result to the JSON because this is in the readable stream not in actually the uh, data and now you will find okay and again we have to use their await and now you will find there we are getting the same data whatever we have in the uh, API so let me just zoom it out for a moment here you can see that user id right title and body and everything right here you can see that user id and all so now you can store this data inside the mm, 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 a state right so let me just uh, tick const data and set data this is a normal state we already talked about lots of time about this right so use state you need to import it from react not react native by default it could be anything let's say i'm just putting it undefined and after that what you need to do just simply uh, yeah just simply put there set data and store result inside it right there will be no impact on your application because we are not just displaying something and after that just come there and check if data is present if data is not undefined then let's just show a view there right let me just close it also and if there is nothing if this is undefined then just print the null we don't need to print anything right but there is some data then let's take a one more text even we can just take text in the next line just put there hello that means there is some data hello is printed there okay we can just simply use style to just show the bit bigger size of text perfect right but now how we can just print this data we we got this data uh, we called api we got store this data in a state but how we can print it Printing is very simple, just simply use the data. This is a state that we defined there, right? Data dot id. And now it should print one. Here you can see that. Why one? Because we have a id and user id one. Similarly, you can do that one more thing. Put there user id. Store it. And here we get one more thing after that let's say user dot mm, title right and last key is body also so let me just print that body also user dot data dot body and here you can see that we got the old data there right so this is a simple api we call and basically this is the get method so what is get method and all don't worry i'll tell you in the next video so if you just uh, learn something there then i'll request you to please 
like this video subscribe my channel and uh, just put some feedback in comment section and this is my paytm number for donation in next video we will learn that how we can just uh use this post api this is there is a lots of data right what is get api how we can just uh, display all of these data right right so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll request you to please subscribe my channel thank you guys